Uh, good morning. Um, having some technical difficulties here. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, we are here, and uh, welcome to uh, the coffee shop. And I'm I'm getting like. It's kind of weird. I'm getting like uh, Facebook reactions. So I'm getting like the thumbs up. I'm getting the hearts. I'm getting all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm not getting any comments coming through. Um, when I was doing some test stuff, I kept saying that I'm not an administrator. But if I'm not an administrator of this group, how can I be broadcasting live into it? So <laughs> I think it's a Facebook issue. Um, so that's kind of weird. So I'm going to just give me a second here. I'm going to pull up my Facebook page and go into the coffee shop and so I can at least see the comments and stuff because right now the application that I'm using uh, which is Ecamm Live um, is not showing me the comments from the group from the coffee shop so that's a problem so give me one quick second here let me go to my page let me go into groups. Coffee shop. Live broadcast. And oh, I gotta mute that, so let's see. There we go, it's muted. Okay, now I can see all the comments in there. Alright. They're probably going to come through slowly because I got to get caught up to the broadcast, and I'm what three minutes into it already. So, um, good morning again, everyone. Thanks for joining me in the coffee shop here. Um, idea behind this is just to kind of hang out, you know, once a week. You know, I don't know if it'll be sad. I mean, we're going to start with Saturdays, um, just to kind of hang out, um, bring our whatever mug, our. Uh, blend of choice and hang out and just see what's happening what's hot what's not um and hopefully this will be kind of a weekly kind of a thing um i so said the application that i'm using is ecamm live on the mac it's only available on the mac um vmix is what i use on the pc side of things and uh, obs um, and cross-platform streaming and stuff but um well, that's kind of weird i'm seeing um <laughs> this is weird. just some technical difficulties um what was i saying now i don't even remember what the hell i was saying uh at any rate yeah i'm just hoping this will be kind of a once a week kind of a thing and um oh i remember i was gonna say um the unfortunate part right now is kind of what i came across earlier is that you guys can see me but i can't see you and the whole idea behind having these once a week kind of video chats and stuff and hangouts um, is to be able to see everybody, you know, kind of like a Zoom meeting. Uh, if you're not familiar with Zoom, it's just it's just a you know video chat application that most businesses use for like meetings and stuff like that. And um, it's really kind of cool. Um, like last, I had I dropped off. I got a notification that uh, the broadcast had ended, so. Let me just jump back over and make sure it's working here. I don't think it's working. Um, let's see. All right. Let me know if you're able. To, oh, are you, okay. I can start seeing some people here. Hey, Donna. Good to see you, uh, Michelle. I see you're here. Now, let me know if you can see me and if you can hear me. Um, I was having all kinds of technical days here, so um, I'm not sure if it's working or not. So, you can see and hear me. Okay, cool. 
Um, so at any rate, um, what I wanted to accomplish with the uh, the get-togethers and stuff, and the hangout sessions, and you know the coffee shop kind of gathering, is not only for you guys just to see me, but for me to see you as well. And so, um, you know, what I want to do is integrate Zoom into Ecamm Live, which apparently is not quite ready for prime time yet so i sent a, a note off to the developers just saying hey here's my idea here's what i'm trying to accomplish i you know i want to have a uh you know a background where i've got you know a virtual coffee shop in a live kind of setting and then be able to bring in all of you as well you know where we're kind of sitting around a table you know having coffee out just like as if we were in an actual coffee shop so um i sent off my request to them and hopefully they can integrate zoom quicker sooner rather than later um i think it'd be a really cool idea um to be able to see everybody just kind of hanging out like i said i i do the same thing with my men's group um you know it's a cancer related group um where every friday we get together and hang out it's just a kind of a casual informal hangout session where everybody's just hanging out and chatting and talking if we're at the bar or if we're at the restaurant or if we're at a shop or whatever and um, we do that um, through Zoom meeting. And so everybody just has their webcam and, you know, everybody gets a link and we all log in and we can see everybody, you know. And so everybody gets to hang out and um, it's really cool. And so I want to do the same kind of thing in the coffee shop here. And um, so hopefully next Saturday um, I'll have set up and ready to go. Um, and then I sent off a, a note to the developers too of Ecamm Live, which again is the site I use, to see if they can integrate um, Zoom into Ecamm Live. I can just use one application to go live and, and then to bring all of you into it through just a simple link or whatever, rather than jumping through and going through Ecamm Live, going through my streaming application, and then going through Zoom, and then going through you know just all these hoops that I have to jump through um just to to go live <laughs> you know so um so anyway i uh, i hope you guys are doing all well um it sounds like a lot of people go back to work so that's kind of cool really need to be able to do that um let me drink some coffee here um since i can't see you guys um you know just chime in through the comment section um give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and see me um and in the comment section you know put in you know what kind of mug you're drinking because unfortunately i can't see it um i'm drinking i don't know what i'm drinking land of 1000 flannels uh my moose mug here looks oh this is um my caribou cup one of many caribou cups um that's what i'm drinking from this morning i'm drinking the 1850 uh, blend of coffee this morning. Um, I was drinking Death Wish. That's because I woke up and I just could barely keep my eyes open, so I had to slam some coffee and just get the blood pumping. But um, I've kind of gone back to 1850 here um, to kind of slow things down <laughs> a little bit. But um, that's what I'm drinking right now. So how's it going with you guys? Um, chime in. Let me know. Um, Michelle, you're drinking what? Vanilla chai tea. Oh my God, you're fired. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? No, just kidding. I don't care. You can drink whatever you want. You're, you're more than welcome to drink tea. Um, as long as it's got caffeine in it, I'm cool with it. Um, vanilla chai tea, so that's cool. Um, who else do we got in here? Donna, what are you drinking? Let me know what you're drinking. Um, how many people have you got in here? That's, see, that's another problem I'm having technically here is it's not telling me how many people are on the live broadcast because um, again it's just saying well you're not a uh, uh, admin of the group and so I can't see that so but I am an admin and I created the stream and I created the group and everything else so I don't know why we're having this problem but that's okay um you're not a coffee drinker. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, at least you got your tea, so that's cool. And Donna, the grinder burned up. What is up with that? That's just unacceptable, right? I, I hope it's unacceptable. So, a new one. Trina, 
How's it going, Trina? You know what? I don't know if you guys can see these comments. You're supposed to be able to see these comments. So let's, um, again, this is the first coffee gift. So um, pardon the uh, technical difficulties here. I need to jump back over. And let's see. There we go. Oh, this time around we can actually see the avatars. So let me move these over so that you can see the comments. There we go. And there, now we can see everything. There we go. Now we can see Donna's comments too. Yes, that is totally a boohoo kind of thing. Um, you got you got to fix that. It is a weekend, so you should probably go out grinder, right? So, um, Trina, 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 how you doing? Maiden Rock, Wisconsin. Well, that's awesome. I hope you're drinking some coffee. If not, um, I'll drink some for you. How about that? Okay, now I can see the the thumbs up coming through and the hearts and uh, stuff like that. I still can't see how many people are actually on the broadcast, but that's okay. I know people can see me. Um, I can't see you, so hopefully next weekend I'll be able to bring everybody in. We can do kind of like that live coffee shop, kind of like a virtual background. Right now my background consists of my actual background, which is... Um, well, I'm in the man cave, so uh, what am I seeing? So back there is my YouTube set, which is darkened. I got all the lights turned off back there, and the cameras and the microphones and stuff are all out of view. You can see the uh, cha or what is that? I don't know what the heck that's called. And then you got the couch over, over there and my little lamp. So I got the up north theme here. Teresa kind of put everything together for me because I don't know how to make things look nice. So she did the up kind of theme down here. So we got the, the moose and the deer and the bear and the lamps and the furniture and everything is just the whole up north kind of theme in the man cave. Um, so I got the podcasting area over there. I've got the um, voiceover booth where I do the jingles and the commercials and stuff. And then podcast happen over there so i mean but right now is fixed so you, all you can see is the middle of the man cave so um let's see comments stopped well let's restart the comments how about that there we go too many years of use need to get a new one asap i totally agree right on you got the right idea Arg. I got this massive internet pipe and I keep getting notifications that the that the stream has stopped. Do I want to resume? And I click yes, resume. I've got, um, what is it? For my internet connection, I've got a 60 down and 20 up so that I can just do 20 up is more than enough for doing, you know, an upload of a single stream. And, um, but because it's the weekend, who knows, I think, you know, like anything else the, the cable here is a shared connection with everybody on my block. And of course it's, you know, everybody's out of school, everybody's out of work, everybody's at home. Everybody's streaming everything and I, my line, my internet connection just keeps going down. So, um... So, all right, it says I'm offline, but I can see myself 
online, so I'm going to ignore that. Arg, this is just ridiculous. All right, let me go back to the comments here, see if I can pull these up. Yep, okay, I can pull up the comments again. I can't see who are who's making the comments. So again, more technical difficulties this is very irritating. But um, let's see. Man cave has an empty chilled coffee drink cup on the table behind you. what? Behind me. Oh, you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, Starbucks um, coffee treat that I, I did a coffee run yesterday, and I was out and about, and I had to stop at High V. I I stopped over at the local Starbucks, and yeah, that's what that's from. So yeah, I just, Brandon and I watched a movie last night, and um, and I drank my little coffee treat, and I forgot to throw away the empty cup. So yeah, my apologies. Um... Good job, Teresa. I don't know who's make. Who, I, when I off, when I went offline there for a quick second, I lost all comments. The comments came back, but it doesn't tell me the comments. So let me jump back into Facebook again and see who are making the comments. Go to my page. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can show you. what I see. Let's see here. Let me do application. There we go. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Go down to, oops, groups, coffee shop. Oh, I see Facebook is doing something. God, so irritating. Why can't they do this stuff at like 11 o'clock at night instead of in the morning when everybody's using it? Um, okay, so now there's the comments. Husband likes these brands. That's what I've never heard, that I've never heard of. Then again, I don't drink coffee. Has anyone tried? Let's see here. I dropped offline again. Let's see. So Arco Coffee. Um, I I have. I think I'm pretty sure I've heard of it. I've just never tried it. Um, I don't know if that's a Minnesota um, local coffee maker. What is everyone's favorite? Let me see if, if I can bring your comments back online here. What is everyone's favorite home coffee brand? Um, mine um, is uh, right now. I always joke around when I people ask me what my favorite brand is, um, but because I'm not being sponsored, I just always answer the same way, which is uh, my favorite brand is the one I'm drinking right now. So um, what I'm drinking right now is um, 1850, um, the Trailblazer brand blend blend and um and no caribou is not sponsoring this so but I'm, i am drinking from a caribou cup right now i just i go blindly into my cupboard of eight thousand mugs and i just grab i just grab one on my eyes are half open i just grab a mug and i start drinking so this time i picked the moose mug which on the back says land of ten thousand flannels and uh I'm drinking the 1850 Trailblazer blend. So, and I should drink some. And um, all right, back to the comments here. Since I can't see how many people are online, 
And I can no longer see who's making the comments. I have to back over to Facebook. Um, oh, okay, we have 16 people online. Let's see. Michelle's comment again. What is, oh, okay, we read that one. What is everybody's favorite? Um, comments, 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 comments. I can't bring up my comments. All right, let me switch back over to my application here. Um, oh, there's the Arco coffee. I think that was Michelle's comment. Um, oh, comments came back online. There we go. Um, yes, I did crash. Uh, no, I didn't crash. Um, the internet connection stopped. And um, it says I'm not live anymore. So it shows that I'm live. Let me just jump back onto Facebook and just kind of see what's going on here. It shows that I'm online. So, oh, you found it. Okay, you're back online. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I think what's happening here is my internet connection keeps dropping. And coming back online, dropping and coming back online, dropping and coming back online. And like I say, I I have a very, very good, and I'm paying for a very, very good internet connection. Um, I had the 6020, but I'm reminded now that we upgraded. So I think we have a 100 meg line um, with a 20 meg upload, and which is more than adequate to multi-stream to multi-services directly from here but um, I'm only streaming to one service which is Facebook right now and I don't know for some reason you know it's a shared internet connection so like anything else you know I've got everybody on our block here is probably online everybody's streaming movies everybody's doing something online and so it just slams the network connections out here even though I'm out in the middle of the country um, they have built like five or six houses here and each uh, family that then has like 18 kids and um so everybody is just sucking up the bandwidth <laughs> so i don't know that's uh, one of the excuses that their technician gave me is that everything is working fine it's just that you got to remember you're on a shared connection unfortunately and because everybody's home from school everybody's home from work everybody's home everybody is online and everybody is streaming and everybody's watching movies and surfing the web and doing everything else and so you're going to get these little drop-offs from time to time so it sucks but what are you going to do um okay so donna says your connection went glitchy i see you live again i see you too but only the connection or the uh comments so I should find um let's see here close out this I need to uh no it's not gonna let me pull up my images uh, anyway like I said I, I'll just pull this back up and then um go back into my page and you guys have to tell me again I like I said in the last stream I didn't I don't know what they call this. It just, it doesn't even say what it is. But, um, you know, I've got my personal page or profile, you know, the John Sarzoza one. That's my personal one where I had over a thousand people on here. And I'm down now to 732 friends because um, I've moved over a couple hundred people over to my other page. Um, but that other page, if I go into here and I show you. It doesn't say what it is. If it's a business page, a fa I've heard it called a fan page, um, or just a page. Um, but I really like this because then I can do everything I want to do on Facebook, create events, go live. I can set up my shop. I can set up groups. So here's the groups. There's the two groups that I created. Now let me go into the coffee shop group. And I can see right away that Facebook is doing something this morning, and it's really irritating. Um, 
but it does show me as being live. Um, and there's the comments. That's what I was looking for because in my application that I'm using, Ecamm Live, every time I drop offline, I can no longer see who it is who's making comments or how many people are online and whatever. So um, the last time we dropped off, I lost seven people. So hopefully they jumped back on. Um, and it, Facebook is not showing the comments being updated here. So um, it's showing some of them, not all of them. And by that, I mean in the application I'm using to stream, I see all the comments and I've got, I don't know, like 27 or 30 comments in there. And if I look at Facebook, it's showing that I have 19 comments. So something's not right, <laughs> but whatever. Um, but I, I can see here that, Donna, you just made a comment. So uh, waiting for your hazelnut flavored. Let me see if I can pull that up on the screen so you guys can see it too here. So hopefully you guys can see that. I gotta change the uh, the color. It's red. Um, but anyway, um, I I can see you guys' comments again, so that's cool. Facebook is definitely doing something today. Yeah, I they're doing something because I can see in the group. I can see inside the group that they're introducing these rooms now or something and they're why are they doing this at on a saturday morning is beyond me i have no idea why they're doing this um because it's interfering with stuff so but at any rate um yeah so i hope things are going well for you guys i hope you had a wonderful week um it's been pretty crazy for me just working a lot work 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 and um not a whole lot of time for fun stuff. So I'm trying to get caught up on my fun stuff. And by fun stuff, I mean my podcasts and my video um, podcasts, my videos to YouTube and my live streams. So I'm just probably trying to do too much all at once. But um, there's just so much stuff that I want to get done and, and to do. And I, and I haven't done my vlog yet. And I haven't done my blog articles yet. Uh, there's just so much that I want to do and it's just not enough time, but I'm caught up. So, um, but this is definitely one thing that I really, really wanted to do was to have a coffee shop group and be able to kind of hang out because of the whole pandemic thing. And because we were quarantined and nobody could go anywhere, do anything. Um, you know, I got used to on the work side of things, you know, doing all these zoom meetings and stuff like that. I thought, you know, how cool would it be to be able to, you know, create a, a, a group, a coffee group, where we could all just hang out and drink coffee and chat about the week and just kind of, you know, just real informal kind of a hangout thing, just like I do um, with my men's group, uh, the cancer-related group, where we get, you know, 20, 30 people together on a Zoom chat, and we just hang out, you know, for an hour. We just hang out for an hour, and everybody kind of goes around and says how things are going and what they did this week and, you know, any good news, any bad news, how their um, cancer treatments are coming along. And for people like us, for like me, um, you know, cancer free right now, um, to be able to give comments and, and feedback and stuff to some of the, the guys who are struggling with their treatments and stuff with, you know, whether it's chemotherapy or radiation treatments or whatever. And uh, it's just a, such a fun time and so, and so cool to be able to hang out. Um, that's really what I wanted to accomplish here with the coffee shop is to kind of hang out uh, with us coffee lovers, or us coffee freaks, you know. And, and um, like I said, unfortunately, like this week, the first time right now, um, you guys can see me. I just can't see you. So um, hopefully next Saturday, that'll all, all these problems, all these technical problems will be resolved. And um, we'll be able to integrate the Zoom chat feature. And then whoever wants to um, broadcast, um, you know, their video or whatever, you know, even if your hair is all messed up, you can just put a cap on like I did here and, and look all pretty. And, uh, and uh, be able to hang out just as if we were in a coffee shop, you know. And that's the whole thing is I'll have like a virtual, you know, coffee shop behind me. And we'll have a table set up. And then, you know, it'll look just like we were in a coffee shop. And um, I'm taking a look at a, a couple of the beta versions of the software that I currently use and um, where I can just send out a link and you guys click on a link 
and it opens up your webcam and I can bring you into the chat so it looks like you're sitting right next to me and the next person and the next person it looks like we're actually sitting in a coffee shop and it is so cool um, I watched a demo of it this a couple days ago and it was just phenomenal it was really awesome and I, I think it would just it's just so cool so um, definitely have to try it out why aren't the comments coming up on my screen here let me jump back to my application here and see let me I think what's happening is like when I drop offline for even a second it stops the comments so I have to restart the comments um, I really need to have like um, and of course Brandon has to work tonight so that's why he's in bed sleeping but he was gonna help me um, be the producer or director or whatever you want to call it and he was gonna manage all of my technical stuff in the background so I could just hang out with you guys but like I said he got called into work so he has to work tonight and so he went to bed so I'm on my own doing all the technical stuff so let me restart the comments here um, let me ch I gotta change the uh, color of the text um, text color just give me a quick second here all right let me try white text and see if that helps yeah, that looks a little bit better. Hopefully it looks better to you too. Um, let's see. I tried starting a room chat yesterday. Might be something to consider for future chats. Available to uh, invited members only at certain times. Wish you the best. Have friend. Oop. Definitely helpful during uh, any times of stress coffee is life agreed um, I can't keep up with all these comments here but let's just see I'll just throw a couple more up here just to see if they'll actually show up yeah it's not it's so the previous chats aren't bringing in the pictures anymore so the only picture I see right now Donna is you um, I can't see anybody else's pictures so again it's a Facebook thing it's just really glitchy this morning and, and very irritating anyway so um, so let me jump back so we're in the uh, coffee shop here and I can see Facebook doing all kinds of goofiness um, And I am live right now, and I see that like nine people got kicked off the stream. And I can see two people online right now. So I don't know what happened. I apologize. Um, I'm just going to keep going because I'm still live. So um, as people jump back in, um, we can continue on. But um, so anyway, so yeah, so that's what's going on uh, with me. And um, I hope everything's going well with you folks. I know um, a lot of people are going back to work finally, which is awesome. Um, I think that the retail stores are allowed to open up um, as long as they're, whatever, adhering to all the rules and regulations, the social distancing and all that kind of stuff. Um, I still can't get a haircut. I, I think the uh, the bars, the restaurants, and the salons and stuff are, um, you know, forced to. Uh, they're able to open, but like with the the place I go to get my hair cut, um, the gals there said they're allowed to open up, um, but they're only allowed to sell their products. They're not allowed to cut any hair because that would mean everybody has to sit next to each other in the chairs there and they can't do that yet so they're hoping I think June 1st they'll be allowed to, to start cutting hair again and stuff like that there are a few places that are cutting hair in fact I think my dad goes to where he goes to his barber um, 
and they just don't care. They're just like, you know what, we're, we, we can't afford not to be cutting hair. So they're, they're cutting people's hair. And there's a line of people out the door to get their hair cut, and, um, and they don't care. They're just like, you know, what are the, you know, the cops going to show up and shut us down? I mean, who cares? They're just, they, they can't afford to, you know, not cut hair and then go out of business. So, so there are places that are defying the governor's orders and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not going to mention their names or whatever. It's just, it's just the way it goes. And, you know, my dad was able to go get a haircut and stuff. And, um, but yeah, the place that I go to, the gals there said they can sell their products. They just can't cut hair right now. So, so it kind of sucks. I, I got this uh, massive uh, thing going on with my hair. I just need to get it cut. And um, for now, I'll just drink my coffee and shut the hell up. How about that? <laughs> so, um, let's see. I've got nine people online facebook is showing two people online i'm showing 38 comments and facebook is showing 22 comments so yeah I'm still having technical issues um let's see i'm only seeing Michelle's comments, and I'm only sh seeing Donna's comments. So, but I see nine other people online. So, for the other nine people, I hope all is well. I hope all you got your mugs, you got your blend of choice. Um, chime in in the comments. Um, I can't see you, so the only way I can interact with you is if you put some comments in. So, um, feel free to chime in in the comment section below and just. Let me know what kind of mug you got or what kind of coffee you're drinking or how your day went or how your week went. Um, nobody can see you, so all we can do is uh, read your comments. So chime in. Feel free to play along. So we're not going to be on for much longer here. It is 20 to 11, so I'm not going to keep you guys too long. I just wanted this to be a quick half hour or hour chat hangout section hangout session where we can just kind of hang out just informally just hang out and drink some coffee and um, talk about whatever whatever's on your mind chime in and I also see that my um, video uh, uh, the quality is not that great right now um, I'm not as pretty as I should be so <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm in front of a window, so I got plenty of natural light coming in, but for some reason my camera is not recording in 4K now, so it's broadcasting. It was at 1080p, and now it's down to 720, so I don't understand why the resolution dropped so drastically. Um, let's see, let me switch back over, because I can restart the comments. Uh, Donna, let's see here. I think there may have been two separate live broadcasts that started. Yeah, that's very possible. Happy weekend. Get your bugs sorted and enjoy the weather. Are you heading out? If so, great to see you, Donna. Thanks so much for chiming in. Um, best wishes uh, for your coffee maker and uh, get that sorted out today. Um, oh, the let's see. I was going to check out the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Donna says uh, you're pretty John as always so thank you I just don't know why the, the the resolution drops so drastically here so it says my stream size right now okay jump back up to 1080p so that's good um, it, it probably had something to do with the the bandwidth or something like that my stream size started off at 4k uh, and then it dropped to 1080p, and then it dropped down to 720, and now it's back up to 1080p, which is just high def, so which is fine. Um, pretty enough, I guess, for now. Um, and then, let's see, I had my scene selection up, so let me, I was going to jump back, because right now you guys can only see my web page and my picture-in-picture -picture type thing here. So let's go back. Let's see. 
scenes. Um, all right. I had to set up all my scenes, which were really goofy, and um, so this is my face YouTube scene. Um, this is my f oops. This is my Facebook Live scene. My Instagram scene, which is not working either because don't have my turned on. It's plugged into my laptop, but it's not turned on. Um, my YouTube live, live streaming scene, my Twitch scene, my LinkedIn live setup, and then when I go live and I do my countdown for Facebook, down to zero then it's automatically supposed to switch over to the the live feed and uh, that's what was really this morning when we tried to go live um, so anyway so I, anyway I'm learning all this technical stuff and it's all cool. it's a lot of uh, work to kind of put these productions together really hoping Brandon can help me out next week as far as um, when I go live he can handle all the technical stuff in the background so I can just focus on the camera and focus on being pretty you know Let's see. So we got 15. So if anybody else wants to chime in, let me know what kind of coffee you're drinking. Put it in the comment section below. It'll, in theory, pop up right away on my screen over here so I can see what you're drinking, or at least read what you're drinking. Let me know what kind of mug, if and my mug right here is. Yeah. Oh, I don't have focus turned on, so. Um, anyway, there we go. So you can see that's my caribou mug. And if you turn it around here, land of 10,000 flannels. And uh, my coffee this morning is the 1850 Trailblazer blend. And so let me know in the comments section below because um, I see uh, a bunch of you online. I haven't heard from, I've only like three or four people here. So um, you other folks, I can't see you and I can't hear you, so um, just in the comment section below, and you know, hello or anything or hi or hey, I'm drinking Death Wish coffee and my heart is a thousand miles an hour. And uh, but anyway, so again, I just wanted to welcome everybody to the shop, and this is the very first uh, get together kind of a thing. So you know, it's not it's anywhere it's anything but perfect. So hopefully next week I'll have my ducks in a row and, and all the technical stuff will be ironed out and um I'll somehow be able to bring you guys into the chat somehow here. So right now all I can do is broadcast my face and then you guys can chime in through the comment section below. So um next week um hopefully the application will integrate um with uh, Zoom, and we can have kind of a big, you know, meeting. If not, then I will send out a link to uh, a Zoom meeting where we can all, at least other, if you so choose to pop on. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Again, like I said, I, I did it a number of times this week. The latest one was yesterday um, with uh, my men's group, the cancer related group, and um, that was just awesome. It was just all time, and um, I'd love to do that with the coffee shop here. So we'll see. So. Donna, Donna, practice makes perfect. Coffee models the lines, but yes, agreed. And I'm sure the more I do this, the, the better I'll, I'll get at it. Um, yeah, see, I can see these other comments, but I can't. 
pull them up on the screen for some reason. So whatever. Yeah, practice makes perfect. I think probably um, because Michelle was online, Donna, you were online, and who else was online at the very beginning? It won't even show me. I think that's why I can see you guys' comments right now, and I can't see else's comments in my application. If I go over to um, Facebook, then it shows me all the comments in there, and I can read them there. So, but anyway. And I don't know if you guys saw... Or, like, how did you guys know that I was live? Did you get the invite, or did you, um, were you in the coffee shop and saw that I went live? Like, how did you get notified us? I got an invite to everybody who was a member of the group here. Um, but there was only three people who had responded to it, so I wasn't sure if everybody had gotten it or not, so. And, uh... Okay, Facebook notified you? Okay. Uh, did they notify you that I went live now? Like, hey, um, this goofy guy, John Sarzoza Jr., went live? Or did you uh, Facebook notified you through an invite? No. See, and now all these reactions are popping up on my thing with the thumbs up and the hearts and stuff. God, this is so goofy. I just really wish it would... Well, whatever. It's just irritating that uh, Facebook is just so glitchy, right? But um yeah that you went live okay so you know um everybody else got notified but like you know the, the the weird thing there is that you know if you're not online at the time then you won't get notified so i'm hoping that when i send out the invite everybody will get that in advance um because i'll send out the zoom link if, if it's not integrated uh but again um <clears throat> excuse me uh, before I hop offline, um, I had a great week. It was just really, really busy. Too much done in such a short time, and um, so I hope every everything is going well with with you folks, and that um, hopefully none of you were laid. Hopefully none of you lost your jobs. But if you did, um, I really hope you know things are getting better for you, or you're going back to work, or you're not laid off anymore, or or hopefully um, you never got laid off. Um, but, you know, again, this is just a place where we can all hang out, come in and, and forget about week, forget about work, forget about, you know, all the BS that's going on in our world today and just hang out, have some coffee, enjoy each other's company, company and, um, you know, just take a break. And um, I know I need it. I don't know about you guys, but I, you know, I need, I need this. So... Um, I'll continue to do it even if there's only one person who's in or one person who's connecting with me. Um, you know, when I was going through my cancer treatments, um, it was the same thing. You know, I'd go to the coffee shop by myself and just sit as I needed it. You know, I needed to get away from the whole uh, sickness, you know, and the chemo thing and the radiation treatments. And the only time I didn't go out and do something was right after my surgeries and stuff. But, um, you know, just every now and then I need to take a break and uh even if it's just once a week like this for an hour where we just hang out then that's what i'm gonna do so and you're all more than welcome to join me um you know just for half hour hour say hi tell me what kind of coffee you're drinking and and then go about your business um but other than that yeah i hope you're all doing well um okay so what time is it here it's nine minutes before the hour so uh got nothing else so if you guys have nothing else i'm just gonna pop off and thanks again for joining me and, um i w i wish you all a, a wonderful weekend i hope you have a, a blast and um and have a one week too i guess it's gonna be really nice um i heard it's gonna be hot and muggy but whatever i don't care so yeah, thanks again for joining me, um, and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care.